Nicole. Welcome to Ergonomic Fitness on IC Digital. For the next 30 minutes, I will show you a workout routine with weights. I call it ergonomic because I involve as many muscle groups as possible in one exercise. It's functional, keeps your heart rate up, prevents injuries, and you're gonna sweat. Let's go. All you need is a pair of dumbbells and a mat, or you can also use a blanket or a towel if you don't have a mat. So grab your weights. Girls probably want to use a weight between 5 and 10 pounds. Guys probably want to go start from 12 pounds to maybe 20 pounds, something like this. Okay? Uh, make sure you have some water and eventually a towel if you sweat too much to um, wipe off your sweat. Okay? Let's go. For the warm-up, we don't need the weights. And if you work out, um, you don't necessarily need weights. You can also do it just without the weights. Just moving your arms up and down just without the weights. Okay, warm up. I would like you to um, stand on one leg and then you're stepping back. And you do a quarter turn, step back. Quarter turn, step back. Quarter turn, step back. When you do that, you want to make sure when you're doing a lunge, you want to have your knee, hip, and shoulder in line. So draw your navel in, pelvis tail, you want to have 50% weight on each leg. We're doing another one. Good. And then we switch. Right leg. Good. Make sure you keep breathing. Don't hold on to your breath. One more. Good. Second exercise is, second warm up is we're doing a lunge. Arms together, starting from your, from your left leg, going up, moving your arms behind your head, and then you're going down. Doing a few. Make sure when you move your arms up or you move your arms down, make sure you have your both knees facing forward. I don't want to see your knee moving in. Good, and then you switch legs. Down, up, up. facing backwards and then you're coming up here this is your end position down here up down here up when you're down make sure your palms are facing backwards both knees facing forward keep your heel up and then you come up exhale We have 12 seconds left. Exhale. Exhale. Good. And then we'll switch legs. From here. Up. Make sure you keep your knee facing forward. Also make sure when you look down, you keep your chin slightly tucked in. Going up. And rest. Grab some water. The second exercise starts in a squat position. From here, biceps curl and you're moving your arms over. Exhale. When you squat, you always want to make sure you keep your knees behind your toes. 
make sure you are able to raise them, then you know that you're in a good position. Squat, biceps curl, arms in front. Always make sure you keep your arms slightly in front. If you move your arms further back, you start arching and you're putting too much pressure on your back. Here. Ah. Exhale as you move your arms forward. Up. You have eight seconds left. Exhale, palms facing forward. When you squat, make sure you have 50% weight on each leg. Rest. And then we switch sides. Nine seconds left. Squatting and you're stepping back with your left leg. Good. Squat, biceps curl over your head. Squat, biceps curl over your head. Inhale, exhale. Up. Seven seconds left. So when you exercise, you always want to make sure you keep your navel drawn in. And rest. The next exercise is a side step with the arm pull. This way and up this way. Okay, let's go. Side, up. In this position, you also want to make sure you always keep your spine neutral. Back of your head, shoulders, and your hips should always be in line. Draw your navel in, slight pelvis tilt, chin is tucked in. You never want to hyperextend your cervical spine, and you never want to do it this way. Okay. And rest. So doing a similar exercise, it's the same side steps, but instead of pulling our elbows up, we're going to pull our elbows back. Okay, in nine seconds. Here we go. Draw your navel in, make sure to keep your spine aligned. You also want to make sure that you don't bounce too much. You don't want to move it like this. So you always make sure you keep your spine neutral. Good, rest. Okay. Next exercise is kicking. Some kicks, squats. And punches. It looks like this. We're doing a lunge, crossover, lunge, kick, punch, punch. Okay? I step back with my right leg. Lunge, cross, put weight on your back leg. You always want to make sure you have some weight on your back leg. Lunge, kick, lunge, punch, punch. Cross, lunge, kick, kick, no. <laughs> lunge, cross, kick, punch, punch. Cross, lunge, kick, punch, punch. Rest. And then we're switching. <laughs> switching sides. So I'm stepping back with my left leg. In 20 seconds.
When you step back, you also want to make sure that your front leg, your knee is not turning in. So you always want to make sure it keeps facing forward. Okay, ready? Let's go. Cross, lunge, kick, punch, punch. Cross, lunge, kick, punch, punch. Cross, lunge, kick, punch, punch. Kick, punch, punch. One more.
So if you have trouble keeping your knee facing forward, either go down with the weight, do it without the weight, <coughs> or you don't go as far down. Maybe just halfway up. Okay, and go. Yeah. Up. Push. Up. When you're down, Slightly look in front of you, that prevents you from hyperextending your neck. Exhale as you raise your leg and rest. Grab your mat or towel or blanket, whatever you have. Maybe you don't want a blanket or towel or mat at all. We will be doing push-ups. So we're doing a side tap in a plank position and then we're going to do a push up in between. People who have trouble going down doing a push up can do it in this position. Okay? Make sure your navel is drawn in, don't hyper extend. Shoulders are right above your wrist. Tap, tap, push up. Push up. Push up. We rest. When you do the side to side tap, you also want to make sure you never rotate in your pelvis. So there's no rotation here. You keep your pelvis the same distance on your left, from your left into your right pelvis, the same distance to the ground. We do another round. People having trouble with doing those push-ups, as I said before, they can go on their knees and then you go down. The second round would be go, stay in a plank, you can eventually keep your knees slightly bent and then you just do a side tap, like this. So as I said before, you don't want to wiggle. The same, keep, keep the same distance from your knees down to the ground. facing each other. And go. Exhale as you move your arms up. Don't drop your hips. And rest. Okay. The next exercise is a core exercise and takes also care of your superficial abs. You lay them on your back. Navel is drawn in. Spine is completely flat on the ground. 
Cervical spine is neutral, chin is slightly tucked in. One leg is down and my left leg down and my right leg is right on top, touching my toes. And we're doing a sit up. Exhale. Up. Up. You never completely get to rest. So you keep the tension in your stomach the entire time. Exhale as you come up. So don't keep a gap. So you're not starting from here and going up this way. So spine is down. If you bend your knees a little bit more, it's easier to keep your spine down. Exhale as you move your arms up. Rest. And then we'll switch legs. Left leg, heel of your left leg is touching your toes on your right leg. Knees slightly bent, make sure you keep both hip, hip joints down on the ground. No rotation. And go. the ground, you're on your heels and you lift up your hips and you can do the same movement or you can bend your elbows and then come up in this position. If it's too difficult, if you start cramping, just try to hold your arms up here and eventually you can bend your knees a little bit more. Try to keep your knees as straight as possible, feet pointing down into the ground. Exhale as you move your arms up, don't drop your hips. You can pause in between if it gets too difficult. Rest, come up and then continue. Next exercise is on your side. I'm laying on my right side. I have my head supported. I keep my right leg in front. My left arm is slightly in front, so I'm somewhere in line with my stomach. And you raise your legs and hold. So this is for your obliques, core obliques takes care of all this part here facing up towards the ceiling. You hold this for 30 seconds. Your left arm is really light. Make sure you keep a line. Don't have your legs too far back. Rather have them slightly in front of you. Breathe. Smile. <laughs> okay, I have one more second. And then we turn around. And then we do the other side. Left leg in front, draw your navel in, pelvis tilt, left leg in front, front arm is really light, and then raise your legs in four seconds, and go, keep breathing, hold it. If it gets too hard, 
Rest for a few seconds and then raise your legs up again. We have eight seconds left. You can do this. Hold it. Keep breathing. Almost done. Rest. Good. We have one more exercise to go. We are on our back. Legs up here. I prefer a 90 degree angle. You can have your knees slightly bent. You, also, you always want to make sure you keep your spine down. So you never drop your legs. You always want to make sure your spine is down. And as soon as you go back in this position, arms up here. Doing a side roll and you're going back this way. Up here. Check your form. Fingers facing up towards the ceiling. Toes are facing up. Roll over to your side and back. And again, don't put your legs and arms on the floor. Okay, rest. And then we roll towards the other side. If it's too hard and you can't roll, you can also just lay on your back and have your arms up and hold your arms up and your legs up off the floor. Okay? Ready? Go. And back. And down. And up. And back. And up. And down. your hamstring on your right leg. We're holding this for about 20 seconds. Remove you your arm up here. Make sure you have both feet facing forward, no rotation. Arms up. This creates a nice, this opens up your chest and stretches your chest muscles as well. It creates mobility in your cervical, um, so thoracic spine. Hold this. 20 seconds. And then we'll switch, keep the same position in your legs and put your right arm down and you're moving your left leg up. Then hold the same position. If you're in this position now, you might feel some more stretch in your adductors on your right leg. That's fine too. Hold it. 20 seconds. Switch legs, left leg in front, adjust your foot so that you have your heel right underneath, right underneath your knee. If you have a hard time putting your legs down, you may um, raise your arms a little bit, use um, a yoga block or a towel that you fold or a blanket so that your arms are slightly um, higher something like this. So you want to make sure you keep your you keep your back straight. You don't want to be in this position. You'd rather raise your arms a little higher so you keep your back straight. And we're going back to the same moving position. Moving your arm up and hold it. 20 seconds. 
stretch is my left hamstring, hip flexors on my right side, opens up my chest, and I will switch other side. Both hands down, shift your weight forward. with me. I'm Nicole from Ergonomic Fitness on IC Digital. If you have any suggestions, let me know. You can also check out my website ergonomicworkout.com and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining in and see you next time. Bye.